First, everything has to do with climate. If you live in an area that has a lot of sunshine, doesn't have a lot of rain, and you know you can comfortably go outside during set hours throughout the year, all right, all year, you can run your business strictly outdoors. A lot of coaches can do that. A lot of this depends on the sport that you're in, right? So first, let's think about the climate. If the climate is not good, if you know during the winter you have to be indoors, you need to run your business indoors. Like you can't just run it for you know nine months out of the year and then turn it off and then start it up again. You lose a lot of momentum doing that. So if the climate is bad and you know you need to be indoors, you need to invest and have something indoors that you can rely on. If you know the climate is good, all right, you can run everything outside. I've seen this across multiple sports. I've seen this with basketball coaches, soccer trainers. I've seen it with everything. All right, you can run it outside if the climate is good. If the climate is not good, if you're rescheduling a lot of sessions, if there's a ton of rain, you need to go inside. All right. Number one is the climate. Number two, this is so important. It comes down to what your preference is as a trainer. All right. And a lot of this comes down to location too. So if you saw the location that I was at for 10 plus years, you might not be that uh, impressed with the quality of the field that I was at, all right? Because I've been in soccer pretty much for the last 13 years. You might look at that park and be like, man, you know, the park isn't that nice. But the thing is, it all comes down to my preference. I wasn't trying to focus on having the nicest facility in the world. I was focusing on having quality training. That is what my clients wanted. They wanted quality training. They did not care about having the best facility in the world, right? So this is why for you, it comes down to preference. If you're a basketball coach and you don't like doing things outside, go indoors. If you don't mind doing it outside, go outdoors. If you are a soccer trainer and you, you hate doing things outside, well, we gotta find an indoor space, right? Now, if you're struggling to get an indoor space, a lot of this comes down to understanding how to negotiate, understanding how to research in your area, and finding multiple options that work for you. You can't just be boxed into one option. You need to have multiple options if you're trying to do something, whether it's outside or inside. And lastly, I wanna encourage you, you can run this whole business outside if you want, all right? Again, if the weather's bad, if the climate is terrible, you're not gonna be able uh, to do it as a full-time business. Like You might be able to have big summers, but it's gonna be hard to run a year-round business if the climate is bad. And you know, if you're willing to move to a nicer climate, that might save you thousands of dollars per year on rent if you're wanting to do things outside. All right, that's it. Hopefully this helps.